Hello and welcome. You're watching Don Bosco Media Network. This is Mon Lisa Rumbai, bringing to you the solution news across the globe. We are joyful and rejoice, said Pope Francis, before indicating the day on which the church will canonize the two new saints, Giovanni Battista Salibrini and Atimide Zati, on October 9th. Moments before, at St. Peter's Basilica, the perfect of the causes of saints, Cardinal Marcelino Semeraro, had presented the profiles of the two apostles of charity, deeply dedicated to the sick, the least, the migrants, and were the faces of Christ suffering on earth. Don Bosco Center for Learning Kurla Mumbai inaugurated its new canteen on Tuesday, 23rd August 2022. The canteen was blessed and inaugurated by Father Gildasio Mendes, Salesian General Counselor for Social Communication. DBCL is a higher learning institute of Salesians of Mumbai province, where on daily basis about 2,500 students walk in to strive after their careers. In this competitive world, the students do feel stressed and need a comfortable space to re-energize themselves so that they can continue to strive after excellence. The Salesian father at DBCL wanted to have a dedicated student-friendly space where students feel comfortable and spend quality time together. The new canteen is designed to give off the same ambience as a cafe. With colourful murals which have the essence of the city of Mumbai, DBCL is set to give its students a spot to unwind after their academic hours. Pope Francis, while receiving the representatives of the ecclesial and civil community of Lodi during an audience in the Clementine Hall on August 26, 2022, shared the reasons for his closeness to that territory and its people. His baptism received from the Salesian priest Father Inicro Pozzoli, a priest originally from Lodi, Italy. The audience with Pope Francis was attended by priests, sisters, seminarians and lay faithful synodal delegates and representatives of parishes and associations together with their Bishop Emeritus, volunteers and communication workers led by Bishop Reverend Moziro Malves Titi who presented a greeting to the Pope on behalf of the whole diocese. During his visit to the province of St. John Bosco of Belo Horizonte to commemorate its Diamond Jubilee, Father Angel Fernandez Artime actively participated in the Second Provincial Congress of the Salesian Youth, marked by moments of prayer, dialogue, presence and formation of young people. The highlight of the event on August 27th was the meeting with the Rector Major, which felicitated participation both in presence and online transmission of young people from all over Brazil. Among the topics discussed by the Rector Major with young people, one was on the digital platforms and digital transformation. In this regard, the Rector Major made it clear that, in the future, the Salesian mission will continue in both modes. The, the digital platform is not the only way and the best way of life. Young people need to meet, to be together, to embrace each other. The pandemic and virtual spaces, on the other hand, have opened up many possibilities to have meetings and to see each other face to face, even if they cannot be physically present. Today's chances are very good and are here to stay, but they will not replace the personal presence in the courtyard, rather they will complement it. The leaders of the oratories of the Salesian province of North Argentina, ARN, gathered for the provincial meeting of oratories held on 6th and 7th August. Starting from the challenges and projects that emerged during the last meeting, the young people prepared for intense days of work, trying to respond to the needs as best they could. The intention is to open a path of identity and accompaniment in the oratories as a concrete help to those involved in this type of ministry. We believe wholeheartedly that the new project we have in mind will be a valuable step for the animators of the oratories, said Ignacio Paolo, coordinator of the provincial team of oratories. Paolo continues, what is to come will be a way to accompany animators from the beginnings, their formative process and vocations. We aim to generate enjoyable material with the participation of all areas and thus continue to strengthen and grow our great community of animators at the provincial level feeling accompanied and embraced by our Salation charism. So viewers, that is all we have for you today. Until we meet again, thank you for watching.